guys, it's Alicia here with my work basket. So for the month of June, I'm doing an Instagram challenge called a card a day in June. It's sponsored by or run sponsor. I'm not really sure how to word that. Um, anyway, hook line and anchor is running it and I opted to participate. And the idea is that for each day of the month, you post a card. Now I know for a fact, I'm not going to get to actually make a card every day. So what I'm doing is spending time on the weekend making cards that I'm then going to post during the week. So essentially I'll make a stack of cards and post one a day. Um, so what I'll do here, what this video is, is all the cards that I've posted on Instagram in the past week with some more details about each one. So if you saw them here, you can see more de If you saw them there, you can see more details here. And if you see them here, you can see pictures of them on Instagram. So they're kind of working together in that way. All right, so I'm gonna spin the camera around and we're gonna get going. Okay, so these are gonna be probably out of order of the way that I shared them on Instagram, mostly because I'm recording this before they go on Instagram, the pictures are already taken, and there's just a pretty good chance I'm not gonna remember which order to post them in. So I'm gonna try and post them in the order I made them, and then that might help me post them in the same order. So this was the first one. This is actually a card that I did previously on the channel for Easy Cards with Gelatos. I'm pretty sure I did it here on YouTube. I definitely did it on my website. So this blue was a stencil with gelatos. You can see the silver thanks down here. This was a pre-purchased card with the silver already on it, and I did the gelatos to jazz it up. And then what I decided to do was honestly because I had no ideas of what to make. The easiest way to make sure you have no ideas is to dedicate yourself to a month of ideas. So I actually was digging around in my paper crafting like organizer and I saw these pre-made cards and I was like, oh, I could just add to that. So it was purchased as a cream card with the silver thanks already on it. And then I added previously, probably a year or two ago, two, two, three years ago, a while ago, the blue gelato stencil. And then what I did this time is I took a stamp and I stamped it just over and over in different angles with this green. And I actually, I doubt it'll show, you might be able to see it here. I did the same thing with a pale gray butterfly, just from some extra texture different places. I noticed that it kind of buried the silver thanks and so I did a second black thanks on top with a different font of a stamp. I also had some stamp and die cut sets that did these. So I made the three butterflies and then this was a felt doily type shape and I glued that on and layered them all up. So these are butterflies do pop up. They're a little bit embossed. Honestly when I I always say, you know, I do paper crafts, I do this, I do that. So I do do pretty much every craft that exists, but that doesn't mean I've necessarily done it recently. And I'll be honest with you, it's been way longer than I thought since I had done a reasonable amount of paper crafts. Like I legitimately couldn't quite remember how to use my die cut machine. So the embossing on this blue butterfly is actually not as good as it should be because it turned out I wasn't using my machine right because it had just been so long since I'd done a good amount of paper crafts and really played with it. So that was the first card. The second card I made, this one I, I actually started making this one first and then kind of just hated it and stopped. These are some thinlets of, um, you know, I'm trying, I'm trying to think of the artist's name, Tim Holtz. I kept wanting to say Tim Burton. I was like, it's not Tim Burton, but I couldn't get the name Tim Burton out of my head. So these are a Tim Holtz um, die cut, the thin lit, where it cuts all the different leaves and flowers all at the same time. So what I did was I cut one strip each with four different colors. And then I arranged them into these flowers and I just inked them with a black. I probably should have done a distress ink, but I like it. It's, it's darker than I would usually do for anything for myself. Like it's not really my color vibe, but, um, and this is a Far East themed paper stack. Now, keep in mind, most of the items that I use are from Stash, so you're not necessarily going to be able to still find and buy the same exact stuff. So that's the paper that I used. Um, I also cut a piece for the background. I sent this through an embossing folder. 
So it just has a somewhat similar kind of floral background. I inked it as well. Glued those suckers on there. And it has a little card. In reality, if I really want to write something, I should do a, another layer here. But So that's that one. The next we'll do this one next so i actually did quite a few where i stamped and colored them all together so i was like i'm not sure which one of these next do i do next so this is an embossing folder i actually had this already embossed just kind of sitting in my stash when i got those embossing folders i had just done like a bunch of them so this is an old we are memory keepers embossing folder um I think that I actually got it at Tuesday morning. So it was probably discontinued when I got it. And I think that was in about 2018 or 2019. This is an old um, 2004 or 2006 Stampin' Up! stamp. And then the rest is just some plain white cardstock and some patterned paper I had in my stash. Just a simple one. This one, I love this one. It's so tiny. So this is just a tiny little mini card. It says, you're a keeper. It's got the little fireflies. This is an actual fabric, an actual ribbon for the top of the jar. Mostly because I realized when I stamped the jar that I forgot to mask and do the stamp that has the fabric top. So I was like, oh, you know what? I'll just do real fabric. So this is a mini card. I'm going to actually probably give it to my son. We have this old, like, little tykes plastic mailbox. And it's still, it just lives in our hallway. When he was little, we would give each other little notes and I'd put up the thing and he'd see that he ain't got mail and I'd just put little treats in there. And sometimes I still do. So I just think that'll be fun to give him that. And then the last one is actually one of the most detailed, but also one of the most basic. And that's this guy. Um, the reason it's the most detailed is because she is in old stamp she is all hand colored so it was just a fair amount of coloring but then as you can see the main thing is actually quite basic i am intending this as a journal card so there's a space here if i want to add a title of some kind later and the back is white so that i can put this in my planner or in my journal and kind of figure out later what to do with it but she is hand colored she's actually from the same stamp set as that so it's either 2006 or 2004 from stamping up recently i got two new to me stamping up sets and those were the two copyright dates but i can't remember which date belonged to which set it's springtime in paris i think is the title of the set so i colored her used another one of these fun felt doilies i only i only have about three more of these and i'm totally in love with them i wish i had way more this was actually purchased at ac Moore, which is now out of business so you know paper craft stuff especially i feel like it's a constant stream of discontinued so it's like whenever you find something you like you need to like hoard it because it won't be around next time you want it so i probably wouldn't be able to find any of those anyway but the store where i bought it is now closed so the card was just from a paper stack that's actually meant as like journaling stacks this is from the same paper stack it was actually a scrap that was tucked in there from a previous project and then just for some extra color i did these there's a faint one over here two of those little arrows just kind of to make it match and then like i said i could do a title up here or like two so and so if i decide to send it or use it as a gift card or something but my main idea was a journaling card so i could disbind it along here and put it in one of my planners or i don't know we'll see but so those are the first couple of cards that i have done for the a card a day in june by the time you see this they will be already live on my instagram and next week i'll have another one with a new stack of cards so that's it thanks for watching if you have any questions please put them in the comments below most of the items that i used like i said they're probably discontinued i've been stamping since like the 90s and i've been acquiring stuff for stamping since like the 90s so who knows where half of this stuff really came from but if you're in love with anything i will tell you anything i can about it to try to help you find it so if you have any questions put them in the comments thanks for watching have a great day everybody have a great day